So this here is the control board for my furnace, or used to be. It's now been replaced, and you can see why. Basically, there were two wires that connected here, which were from AC mains, and they had connectors just like you see here. Now, this is actually the installer's fault, it seems. I don't know how it lasted this long, but they didn't protect the wires that they connected here and when the AC wires got too close together it arced and burnt this board away here so you can see the PCB material is actually burnt right out now that's actually at the bottom that's a PCB trace you can see and I think that was enough to keep this running for quite a long time actually so this just kind of shows you what what kind of thing can happen just because someone doesn't pay attention to what they're doing when they install something and the board was mounted this way and you can see the, the arcing and the burning of the PCB material down here and sort of a little smoke trail all the way up it Now I think actually I'd be interested to clean this all up and try putting AC power on again, see if it worked, but I wouldn't be surprised if it did. So anyways, it was pretty interesting that this thing lasted as long as it did in this state. And just a reminder of the power of AC. Oh, and just make sure whoever installs your furnace also does it right. So maybe check their wiring afterwards. The arcing that you see here, the type of damage it did, that's the same thing that's going to cause fires in your house elsewhere. So look out for extension cords and other things that are intermittently working when you wiggle them. Often that's a sign that you're breaking the current current flow inside the device. So that can cause an arc, eventually it can heat up, cause a fire. This I've actually seen on switches, I've seen it on extension cords, and I've even seen it happen on a car. So if you see anything suspicious happening with your electrical devices, make sure you fix it. My name is Michael, and I'll talk to you later.